thank you for joining us for this virtual celebration of Veterans Day, coming to you from the Derby Area Veterans Memorial Walk of Freedom in Gary Garrett Park. I'm Teresa Hearn, the Executive Director of the Derby Community Foundation. Due to the global coronavirus pandemic, we chose to make the annual Derby Veterans Day celebration virtual in order to keep us all safe, but to still pay tribute to the brave men and women who have served and continue to serve in the United States military. To begin today, members of the Derby High School Air Force ROTC, under the command of Colonel Michael Dillard, will present the colors. Will you please stand if you are able? Howard, Arch. Colors, oh, the face, reason, arms. Will you please join us in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Order, arms, right, face, over, arch. The Walk of Freedom is a beautiful tribute to the Derby area veterans. We are grateful to the City of Derby, especially the Public Works Department, for the meticulous care that they take to maintain this memorial. Joining us today is, city, is the City of Derby's Mayor, Randy White. Thanks, Teresa. Thanks for having me. You know, Wednesday's a special day. It gives us the opportunity to remember what have made this country such a great country, and that is the veterans that have fought for our freedoms. And I'd just like to take this uh, opportunity to thank all of our current veterans that are out there that choose Derby as their home. Thanks for, thanks for your commitment to our community. And I'd also like to remember everyone that is currently on active duty and the time that they give every day to keep each and every one of us safe. I can't tell you how many times I hear stories about what it's like to be on active duty and come to Derby and be honored by a child coming up to you when you're in a restaurant and thanking you for your duty or for somebody stepping in front of you in the line and says, hey, let me get that for you. That makes Derby a very, very special place. And I can tell you, it's appreciated. If you haven't had the opportunity to come out to the Walk of Freedom, I would encourage you to do that. This is a special gym in Derby. We have talked about this for years and maybe some different options that we would uh, use to recognize our veterans. For those of you that do not know that, uh, we uh, actually have uh, bricks that recognize all of our veterans that choose to be recognized in, in the different uh, uh, military branches, and it's very, something very special to come see. And as a final note, I would just like to say I, I go around and I, I tell people this all the time, one of my favorite parts of being your mayor is the simple fact that we couldn't have a better neighbor and that's McConnell Air Force Base. Thank you for having me. The Walk of Freedom was completed and dedicated in 2011. And as Randy uh, said, the memorial is a quarter mile of hike and bike path that includes stations for every branch of the military. Each branch features bricks that are dedicated to Derby area veterans, both active duty and those who have retired. The entryway to the memorial features a tribute to Colonel Merlin Bethlison, who is Derby's only Congressional Medal of Honor recipient. There is also a station paying tribute to the spouses and the families of military veterans who kept the home fires burning. That, that station was inspired and funded by longtime Derby resident Jim Coffey, who passed away in March. Jim believed in Derby and he found many ways to enrich the quality of life in our community, including leaving an estate gift to 
support the Veterans Memorial and the Derby Community Foundation. We are so grateful for all the ways that Jim Coffey served our country and our community. He was a quiet giant and we miss him. This year in 2020, the family of John Jenkins provided funding for a bench to be added to the entryway of the Veterans Memorial and it is dedicated to him. The bench plaque reads, in loving memory of John J. Jenkins, JJ6, U.S. Army, 1952 to 1977. We thank his family for honoring him with that bench and we invite you to come out and enjoy it. This year we've added 19 new bricks to the Veterans Memorial and I would like to read the names of the veterans who have been honored this year with a brick. In the Army Station, John Bertoli, Micah Friesen, Larry Lankenheimer, Harold Rieke, Thomas Rusher, and William Dale Rusher. Rusher. In the Navy Station, Jerry Rusher. In the Marine Station, Les McIntyre. And in the Air Force Station, Dale Cessna, Ron Cessna Jr., Albert W. Davey, Thomas Blusick, Richard Grenier, Kevin J. Hahn, Jean Martin, James E. Miller, Colin Milliken, Frank O'Donnell, and Butch Rose Reb. You'll find the order form for a brick on the Derby Community Foundation website, and they are also available in hard copy at the Der Derby Welcome Center. We'd like to extend thanks today again to the City of Derby, to the Public Works Department for taking such great care of the memorial, to Colonel Dillard and his cadets for all that they do in our community to support us, to Mayor White for being with us today and sharing words about uh, how special Derby is, to Alan Larimore, who you're going to hear from very soon. And last but not least, we want to thank Dave Peebler, who is a past recipient of the Derby Community Foundation's Generosity Award for the many, many ways that he supports our community, including being behind the camera today to record the celebration and helping us post it online so that we may share it with all of you. Thanks again for joining us in this celebration. It is my sincere hope that next year on November 11th, Veterans Day 2021, we will be able to gather in person at this wonderful memorial and celebrate the brave men and women who have served our country. Today's celebration will end with the playing of taps by Derby resident Alan Larimer.